for YouTube. Uh, I cleaned up this starter. I'm gonna like not rebuild it, rebuild it, but just cleaned it up. Um, I used heating fluid, home heating fluid. When I moved into my house, it had uh, over 100 gallons of home heating fluid in a tank. So I put it. I've been using it for my shop to clean parts and stuff like that. So. Uh, I know it, it's like diesel fuel oil and stuff like that, so, I mean, it cleans really good. Uh, it does leave an oil residue, so what I'm going to do is uh, get some brake cleaner and spray it down with brake cleaner and uh, to get the oil residue off of it. Um, but this is the one that came out of the car, um, the small block um, Chevy motor out of the 1970 Chevelle. I was having problems. It was just uh, clicking. I think the the Bendix was just coming out and not spinning. Um, I have a small block, three, uh, small block Chevy motor in the car, and it has a three-speed on the car on man manual transmission. Um, so I cleaned all the dirt and the oil off of this. Uh, I did the same with the body of it. I uh, cleaned it all out. Again, I scrubbed it down using a um, wire brush. Uh, it's a lot cleaner and stuff like that. I probably could have let it sit in there for a while longer and scrubbed it out a little more. But for now, this is, this is good for now. Um, on the bushings, in here, they're pretty worn. These are uh, copper brass bushings or whatever they are that are in here. They're pretty worn down. So what I figured I'd do is take them out of this, the big block, the big block um, starter I have. I'll take them out of this and switch them over. These pins just slide right up. You can see on this one probably. I was trying to hook my nail under it. But those slide right out. See, they're like dowel pins. If I can get my hand in there, I can't get my hand in. There. I don't have any screwdrivers. In there. I put everything away. Where's my new bolt? My bolts. I cleaned my bolts too. Let's just push right down. See that? Now they're lifted up. That's how you take them out. I have to unbolt them right here on the both sides, but and then I'll clean that, clean it out even more after I take these these out and uh. Like you can pull these up, unscrew them right here, and just replace those bushings. So I'll put this over here. Try to keep it all together and stuff. I'm supposed to be going to my neighbor's house. Dre's over there right now. Dre pulled up a minute ago, and uh, I gotta um, change the thermostat in my neighbor's Explorer. I did it to my Explorer. Um, 4.0, the thermostat housing separates, it's all plastic, and it separates and uh, starts leaking coolant, and the truck starts overheating and stuff, so uh, they were having a problem with that now, and uh, the part was $80 from Ford, when I shopped around for it, it was like 300 bucks. so I told them, you might as well just get it from Ford. Uh, but Cape Cod Cuda signing out, you see how clean stuff came out, and uh, that was just a couple minutes of cleaning, and uh, what I got to do is change this cap to. I broke this cap, so I got to take this cap off, switch it onto this solenoid. So, Kid Kaku to signing out. Thanks for watching. It's just an update video. The starter cleaning.